Welcome to our podcast, where we uncover the most important and interesting stories for you. In this episode, we'll discuss NASA astronauts set to begin live streaming from the moon. Here's how it will work. NASA astronauts will soon be able to live stream their movements from the moon during future Artemis missions. And this will be made possible because of laser technology. The space communication method is being tested by NASA in which they are using a laser beam for connecting astronauts on the moon with ground control on Earth. In the first test, the scientists sent a video of Taters the Cat using a laser communication streaming service. The second round of experiments started in early June, in which NASA's Pilatus PC-12 plane was featured. In July, a 4K video on a round-trip journey from an aircraft to the International Space Station was sent. Another set of experiments was completed on July 30th and a test run of the so-called high-rate delay tolerant networking system was completed, as reported by Space.com. HDTN has actually broken several world records and achieved some firsts for space in general and the United States, said Rachel Dudukovic, lead engineer for HDTN at NASA Glenn while speaking to Space.com. We've demonstrated a secure file transfer from the ISS, which is the first time that's been demonstrated ever. We demonstrated over 900 megabits per second over the laser communications link from ISS, which is also the first time that's ever been demonstrated in space, he added. In this type of networking, a solar system-wide internet, which is secure, reliable, and able to transmit automated data at high data rates will be created. We address challenges of the environment such as long delays and disruptions caused by weather. The protocols that we use are specifically designed to meet those needs, said Dudukovic. What we do is we store data when the link has been disrupted, and once it resumes, then we go ahead and we continue to transmit data. It's a buffering capability, essentially, at high rates he added. Along with sending and live-streaming videos and data, the technology will also be able to create a space-wide web which will help the astronauts in space to remain more connected to Earth. We have protocols and standards that make a space network act like the Internet we all enjoy with our connectivity. When we put these two things together, we can start to provide services to spacecraft, said Daniel Rabel who is an electronics engineer and principal investigator at NASA Glenn, while speaking to space.com. That's all from this podcast. Thanks for listening. We have many more such compelling episodes for you. Enjoy them. Do share your opinion in the comment box and subscribe to us for more.